Dear Muslims, the doors of Jannah are opened up, as we all know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will command the angels to fling open every single door of Jannah. How excited are we? How eager are we to be lined up like the people of this dunya are lined up to get something of this world? How excited are we? Like our children are excited when something amazing is about to happen in their world and their paradigm. When our Lord Jalla Jalaluhu will announce to chain up every single shaitan. When our Lord will announce every single night that people will be saved from Jahannam. People will make their way to Jannah because of what they're doing in this month of Ramadan. And you know, all of us, to be honest, our spirits are a little bit down because of this lockdown, because of this pandemic. But what better time for Ramadan to come? Because we need something to cheer us up. We need something to break our routine. We need something to do. And Ramadan is the opportunity to do. Ramadan is the time of action. We all know that this month of Ramadan, is the only month that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned by name in the Quran. No other month is mentioned by name. Shahru Ramadan, Allah says in the Quran. The month of Ramadan is the month that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this Quran. The month of Ramadan is the month that our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sitting in Ghadi Hira, was contemplating. And when Jibreel came down and said to him, Iqra, Allah intentionally chose the month of Ramadan and intentionally chose the day of Laylatul the, the night of Laylatul Qadr, the day after that was the day that Iqra began to come down to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is the month where one of the main causes of forgiveness for the Muslim, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever prays the five prayers and whoever prays Jumu'ah to Jumu'ah and whoever fasts Ramadan to Ramadan, all of the sins in between them are going to be forgiven. We all know the blessings of the fast. We've heard khutbahs about the blessings of the fasting. Inshallah, We'll be reminding ourselves today's khutbah was about that and the rest of the next khutbahs as well throughout Ramadan are going to be about all of these ayat and a hadith that we always hear about the blessings of Ramadan. The famous one, the hadith which is muttafaq alayh in which Abu Huraira said our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Allah Azza wa Jal says, so this is hadith Qudsi, that every single deed that the son of Adam does, it is his. And I shall reward him from one to 700 times, from 10 to 700 times, every single deed, except for the fasting. That deed, I have taken it. And when Allah says, I have taken it, it is a matter of honor. It is a matter of wanting this great and magnificent thing for himself. Allah is saying all the other deeds, I'll let the son of Adam take it and I will reward him from 10 to 700 times. But this one deed that he does, the deed of fasting, I want to take it myself. It is something that is an honor. In Arabic, we call it tashrif. It is Allah's sharaf that he is saying that the fasting is a deed that I will claim directly for myself and only I will give the son of Adam his reward. Meaning, the rewards of 10 to 700 will not apply to the fasting. If I give $1 in charity, the minimum I will get back on the Day of Judgment is a reward for $10. Some people for that same dollar might get a hundred reward. Some people might even get the reward of $700. It depends on their intentions, on how much they needed it, on the circumstances. So $1 can literally stretch 700 in the eyes of Allah. Every deed can stretch from 10 to 700, except for a few. A few of those deeds, they go بِغَيْرِ hisab without counting. And of them, of course, is the fast of Ramadan. And this is why this month of Ramadan is so precious. This is why every single Muslim on the face of this earth, no matter how weak their iman is, no matter how much they're struggling in this month of Ramadan, every one of us who has an atom's weight of iman, we raise our bar. Every one of us who has a beating pulse of Iman, we do something extra we would not do outside this month of Ramadan. And that is a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that on the day of judgment, the fasting of Ramadan and the Quran of Ramadan, the both of them will intercede on behalf of the, the people who would fast and the people who would recite Quran. And the, the both of them will say that, oh Allah, the fasting will say, this person, I deprived him of his food and his drink, so forgive him. And the Quran will say, oh Allah, this person, I deprived him of his sleep, 
meaning here his qiyamul layl, his tahajjud, his taraweeh. I deprived him of his sleep, so forgive him. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will insha'Allah ta'ala forgive those who are righteous in this month of Ramadan. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reminded us that this month of Ramadan comes with so many blessings. As I already mentioned, the doors of Jannah are opened, the gates of Jahannam are shut, every single shaitan of the evil jihateen are locked up, and every single night the angels announce, every single night, whoever wants to be forgiven, come forward. Whoever wants Jannah, come, and whoever wants other than this, then go, you will be destroyed. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us in that famous hadith in Sahih Bukhari, that the one who is not able to be forgiven in Ramadan will never be able to be forgiven. If you cannot be forgiven in Ramadan, there is no hope for you because Ramadan has all the opportunities laid out for us.